Good day, YouTubians. Purple Mentat here, bringing you a morning warm-up on Magisite. Gonna do a quick run. If you haven't seen this game before, it is a roguelike 2D platformer. Uh, let me just re-roll until I get something I like. Intelligent Gatherer. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, oh, I think if I change my race, it re-rolls those. No, good. All right. I have variants on the peasant. Ooh, spiky hair. Yeah, I don't have hats or companions yet because I'm terrible at this game and just started a little while ago. Anyway, this is a 2D action platformer survival game, and wow, that is loud. I can only... Oh. Well, I'll have to fix that later. We'll see if I can manage to actually, like, you know, post-production reduce these game sounds some. I apologize for... Oh, wow. Four early on? That's a problem. I am not very good at this game, so expect to see me die pretty quickly, actually. I am, I think, just going to end up doing a lot of dodging on this boar until I can, you know, uh, actually, we are going to run back through here and punch these pigs to death and jump up here. Awesome. I'm terrible. There we go. So, as I was trying to say before I a boar tried to kill me, 2D action platformer crafting type game, starting with coal is kind of useful. Uh, I need a lot more wood before I can do anything else useful. Okay. I'm going to die already. I just got started. Um, this is just a terrible start. Why would they do this to me? Gatherer, like, I'm used to the gatherer power being a lot more powerful, um, but this is an updated version of it. Lots of hostile monsters need to, you know, gather materials to be able to make better weaponry and such. Like, right now I'm just trying to get a wooden sword together and you can see how much work I'm putting into just that. Because this game, like, this game hates you. This is a blood and bones level of, like, does not approve of your existence kind of game. Oh yeah, there I go. Anyway, it, if you get a really lousy start like that, you will die quickly. It's pretty easy just to play again and go with the same build. It's super random. Like, this is not exactly a great start either, but I, I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do a little more with it than I did the last one. Just need to take care of this spider. And great, now the bee's joining the party. Generally, you don't want to use your axe to attack things, because you don't actually gain any damage bonus and you lose durability. But it, you do get a bit of extra swing range. Use it. Oh, there I go. Five hit points. Not a great start. You do this a bit. I want to get one decent uh, run, and this looks like it'll be the run. Really, you just need that first room to not contain a bunch of spiders and stuff. Also, starting out with... Is this a stone blade? That's super useful. I'm going to punch things with it and do my three damage at a time. Yes, stone blade. So that's pretty cool, because that means I'll be able to start with a stone pickaxe and start gaining iron immediately. And I can spend my first bits of wood making a sword. Come here, slime. I got swordin' for you. There we go. And my next bits of stone will go into a sword or, you know, an axe. I mean, it's kind of silly to spend it on an axe, but... Ooh, coal. Awesome. This is actually one of the better starts I've ever had in this game. This is pretty fantastic. Well, besides gaining dex early on, I don't really use the dodging that much. So there's a bunch of aspects of the game that, like, I've never played with before, like the whole monster hide bit and um, the ability to sell things actually makes, like, gathering everything worth it because the shops, you can get gear a lot earlier than you'd otherwise be able to from the shops. Oh, so I was saying that it's a really nice start, and then that guy shows up. He's basically the boss type creature of this level, except just like everything else, he appears randomly. So he's going to take a lot of stabbing with this sword, and I really need to make sure that I don't get hit by the falling meteors that he drops, and yeah, there we go. So that was actually a good bit of luck that I had a nice big long area to run him through like that. That's not 
standard. Gaining a little bit of strength on that level up will also help me significantly in the fights to come. Come here, slime. I got swording for you. You too, B. I got myself a HP potion and some herbs now. I am not a... F I should be, though. Yeah, terrible at this game, but it's a lot of fun. It's also multiplayer capable. I got a new hat. Berserker scarf. Sweet. Have to use that on the next run through. I want to get through District 1 today. Like, that's my goal. Like, to not completely be terrible. I don't know if it's a reasonable goal at this point, though, because I am completely terrible, especially this early. Big mysterious potion. Fun. Okay. Like, I've had a cup of coffee. Hung out with a cool Twitch guy named Ruin Wolf this morning. He's very social. It looked like uh, he was doing an Agrarian Skies map with some f friends. Definitely recommend checking him out. He seems neat. I was promised a mankini by Slowpoke, and while there was no mankini, I was still not disappointed. Alright. Get myself some better tools going on. There we go. So, make myself a sword. And a pickaxe immediately. Um, I don't know what that third wood blade was for. I guess just an axe because I'm probably going to need it at some point. I got overexcited. It happens. Yay, stone. Come here, B. So, the real... Actually, do I have... No, I did not. Uh, if you can kill some spiders, you can get some string, make yourself a bow, then the bees get a lot less scary. Ooh, sweet. So that's, like, diamond or diamonium ore, and that's gold ore, goldmium ore. Uh, you can't actually collect those with a wooden pick, which means they're fantastic to use for your first, uh, like, you can't get the special ore, but you can get the stone out of each of them. So now I'm am only one stone short of having the wooden uh, the stone pick. Unfortunately, one item in this game is not like one item. You need to refine it by combining two, and then combine the two refined stone to get the stone blade. Then you can make your stone pick and throw your way throw away your wooden pick and never use it again. Ooh, actually, I got a really cool um, enchanted stone pick that is giving me plus three hit points and extra attack damage. So, there's that. Problem is, it still only has like 55 durability. So, yeah, I can't actually use it. But the big, uh, uh, as a weapon, the big deal is that it gives me that, uh, we're not going to fight those bees, gives me the ability to collect iron. So, in the next town, I'll be able to make myself an iron pick. That big crystal right there is basically a wasp hive. Leave it alone on fear of dying horribly. And I know that, like, my performance today, you wouldn't believe it, but I've actually gotten up to, like, level 6 or 8 on this game so far. Never beaten it. Like, I have not had a successful I beat the game run through. Which is an issue, considering, like, some of the cool stuff you can get these days. It requires you, like beating the game with special circumstances or beating the game at under level five and i have no idea how you pulled that crap off all right i am not prepared to deal with a bee right now however i can get prepared because i have enough to make a string and then you can combine three sticks to make an unstrung bow and string the bow now all you need to do is make yourself some arrows which is just any sort of ingot including refined stone on a stick get you five arrows Stone arrows and bone arrows aren't going to provide anything in the way of damage bonus, but just being able to do my 6 damage at range is really, really helpful so that I can kill it in one hit and not have to dodge around and, you know, because I'm terrible at that sort of thing. The whole, like, twitch reflexes and dodging and that sort of thing, not very good. Uh, stomach is starting to grumble. I am low on the food. That's okay. I've got a fair bit of monster meat and a whole bunch of, uh, coal. Like, a surprising amount of coal for this early. Oh, you can move the camera around just by moving your mouse pointer, which is kind of cool. Who 
Boom, boom. Ooh, critical. That'll help. As soon as I get this boar dead, I'll kill his piggy brethren and uh, cook some food. Ole. Normally, you shouldn't do that, but uh, like kill th kill pigs with your sword. But it's a wooden sword; it's so replaceable. All right. Oh, not iron. Stone. Combine one stone, one coal. Get a fire starter. Make sure your meat is on your bar and ready. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to do that yet because I still have th two hunger. I'm going to wait until I get down to one or even zero because you can last at zero for a good bit before you take damage. Excuse me for a moment. <coughs> Sorry about that. Throat getting dry. I will apply tea to it. Some nice Earl Grey to start the day because, you know, I've already coffeeed. How do I break this? Oh, yeah, you just need to punch the chest and it opens up. Holy crud. That is a giant, j super damaging two-handed weapon that I am actually reasonably happy to find. I'll show you. Big, long, big, slow swing, but when it hits, it just kills stuff. Now, you get to pick your path in this game where you want to basically spend your level up talent points. Uh, so far, in my experience, I like the warrior skills. I don't remember how you use those skills, though. It might be one, two, three. Nope, one didn't do it. Um, hang on. Uh, Z, X, and C. So that is the super jump skill, which is kind of useful. Not like... It's probably the least useful of the warrior skills. So I'm unluckily, unlucky to get that first. That's just life, though. I've been taking a lot of time in this level, and I'm probably going to start regretting that sometime very soon. There's kind of a time limit built into the levels called the Scourge. They start showing up, and... <laughs> that was funny. This is, like, one of the most damaging weapons I've ever seen in this game. So, I'm kind of entertained by that. Whoops. Where is my stone? You can craft things quickly. Be careful with that, though, because if you, uh you know, shift-click your sticks together, you might end up with 35 axe handles. Like, you can do multiple crafts in the same action. I am starving. That's okay. I'm also out of town. And the reason I wanted to get to the town first is because chickens. Come here. Yes, you can kill the townspeople and take their money. All right. So now that I got my chickens, I'm going to make myself a fire. And I'm going to cook my meat which I do by right-clicking next to the fire. There we go. And now it's time to eat some chicken. Which, every time... Oh, actually, you heal to full food in a town. I did not know that. That might be new. Because I've definitely had to rush to town and try to, you know, get some... H, some of the HPs going. So you see I have 145 coins. This is where you can spend those. You don't get like, I don't think you can find out, like I can't hit W on that and find out what it is. If I hit W on this, I'll just buy it. Yeah. Uh, smelt my ores. I have enough iron to make myself an iron pick, which is what I'm going to do. Put those together. Make myself another pick handle. Combine the iron knight blade with the pick and boom. So this does not have the cool extra bonuses of the pick of the stone pick that I made, but what it does have is the ability to mine goldmium, which is important. Bam. See, you don't get a lot from killing the villagers, but you also don't lose anything by doing so. So if you're a terrible person like me, go for it. Um, what's that? I think that allows you to refine a monster pelt or hide with a stone to get yourself something you can turn into armor. But I'm not 100% certain. Anyway, down here at the forge, you can make, like, crappy armor. Um, and I'm pretty sure that wood is an option. Let's find out, though. Nope, wood is not an option. Stone is, though. I'm sure of that much. So, I've got these extra wooden planks that I'm probably not going to use. However, there is a place, right that, that guy with the treasure chest, to sell things. 
one uh, wooden plank cells. Oh, I dropped it on the ground. Whoops. You drop it right here, and that sells for one. So, you don't get a whole lot out of uh, collecting and selling things, but it's better than nothing. And, like, I don't have a whole lot of use for tons and tons of wood or tons and tons of sticks anymore that I know of. So, I keep, like, uh, ten of each or so, and I sell the rest and get piles of cash. Also, this stone pick, that was actually three coins. Yay! Um, the big mana potion and big mysterious potion. The mana potion only gets useful if I can make myself a butterfly net. And if I remember right, the butterfly net is made by combining two string together. Yes. And then you can put the string, uh, the, uh, net on a stick and get a bug net. And that'll let me make some magic stabs later on. Um, yeah. But right now, the big mana potion and the big mysterious potion, not very worthwhile. Herbs, you can combine into HP potions. I believe you can use them with mushrooms to make bigger ones. So that's 300 bucks that I have on hand. Nothing super wonderful available for that amount. This lady has, like, um... You know, she's the tailor? I don't know how this works. Anyway... There's a whole lot that I have yet to discover about this game. I'm trying not to uh, completely spoil myself with the wikis. Ow. Hello. Little slimy guy. Bam. Bone. Just the one, though. I should make more arrows, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break out this Zweihander, and I'm going to kill this boar with it in one hit. <laughs> ah, that was awesome. Okay. So, the bug net is used to collect these bugs. And if you get a couple of the same kind of bug, you can turn them into a magic staff. Magic in this world is apparently based on bugs. Bam. I got a bone blade. That is not super useful. I guess I could make a better sword out of it for, you know, general use. Unfortunately, like, my inventory is filling up at this point. Oh, I didn't want the axe handle. Go away. Um, where did that bone blade go anyway? I swear I just had it. What the heck? Did it despawn on me? It did. Ah, that's terrible. Oh well. Okay. Here. I'll eat some of this chicken and get it out of my inventory. At least one bit of it. Yum. Every time you eat, you poop. Because this game has that kind of sense of humor. We'll get rid of the wooden sword. We'll kill everything with this Wyander for a bit. Well, you know, I don't want to kill, like, slimes with it. Oh, well. That's so hitting him. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Bam. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Alright. More bugs. Thunderbug. Thunderbug. So, I'm going to wait until I have one more Thunderbug, just to be certain. Before I make myself a staff. And, of course, chopping wood for the monies. Oh, hi. I'm terrible at games. There, die. I leveled, yay. I will punch the piggies with their dead chicken brother. More herbs. Just grinding up some more resources. Maybe I'll be able to make some iron armor after this one. Wouldn't that be something? You'll notice that I'm getting a couple of wood and sticks out of each swing of the axe now. That is because of the gatherer special bonus that I have. Oh, there is a thing there that I can't pick up because I don't have the room. Uh, that's okay. It's time to eat again. There we go. That is a whole bunch of monster pelt. So now I have monster hides and monster pelts. And I don't know what to do with either of them. Fantastic. 
Oh, hello. Bam. Ah, <laughs> that's fun. Oh, wow. After seeing that, I'm kind of surprised I killed the guy the first time around. All right. Pick up Shroom. Come on, Shroom. Come on, Shroom. With Herb, get Mysterious Potion. Not what I wanted. That's all right. We'll drink it. That was not a drink. That was a throw potion. Awesome. Glad that that almost killed me. Really. Thanks, game. That was fun. All right. I have too much stuff in my inventory, and I don't know what's actually worth keeping. That's a problem. Um, I wonder if there's a way to get more inventory space. You know what? I can use up these uh, potions. They restore, restore two apiece, guaranteed. So, there's that gold Miyamore I was talking about. And there's a fire bug. Awesome. Thunder gem level one, which I can probably combine with a stick to make a bolt attack. Ice bug. Um, all right, we're getting rid of the bone. It's not useful. Let's see what this uh, does for me. It does a directly over top of me. That this is like Pikachu from Smash Brothers Thunder Blast. Hits pretty hard though. That was neat. I was not unhappy with that. I wonder how I make a higher, if it's possible to make the higher level stuff yet. But I'll have to hang on to, you know, a bunch of uh, the bugs over time to figure that out. Yeah, I should really just like wiki this game some more, but I'm kind of having fun figuring it out as I go. Alright, I, I should probably pick a kind of bug to focus on, and I think that I'll make it the thunder. Ow. Ow. Not good. I think I will make it the thunder. Uh-oh, there's those Scourge Invaders I was telling you about. Oh, that actually launches a sword below me. I did not know about that part. That makes it a lot more useful. So they're going to start showing up on the screen any second now, and they are basically giant uh, Medusa heads from Castlevania. I'm just trying to gather all the ore I can as I run from them. Everything else is kind of secondary, because see if there's one now. Don't have the time to care about anything else. Must run like heck. Scourge are bad, MK. Okay? There we go. I live... <laughs> I escape and I live. That's actually kind of fun. Mana, I believe, regens slowly on its own. Anyway, uh, leather worker. All right. I, you know what? No, not leather worker. First, you. Um. So I'm gonna turn you three into chest piece because armor increases HP apparently also increases my attack significantly that's pretty freaking cool all right so how do I refine my monster hides I assume you plus you does not seem to be working ah you need to put the three together to make refined leather, which you can then combine with stone to make rugged leather, which you can then make into a hat or a chess piece. That's not super useful, actually. However, I've got a cool looking hat now. I'm happy with this. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Just too many things and not enough inventories. It's a problem. Um, I am killing you for your monies because I'm a terrible person. I feel like I'm only collecting wood at this point to sell it. I'm kind of okay with that, though. I feel like that would sell for a lot, but I also kind of like the plus 35 attack. <laughs> I'll keep all of my coal in fire starter form. That'll be better for the long term. There we go. 
get all my meat cooked up. This stuff has a 50% chance to heal me by one. And it restores three hunger. Pretty awesome. Probably going to die in the next area unless I'm extremely careful. So if I want to be... Actually, I shouldn't have sold all that wood. I could have made... I bet I could have made wooden arrows out of it. And been that kind of extremely careful I was just talking about. That's okay. There is always the next area to find stuff in. So it looks like, yeah, monster pelts turn into their fine cloth, which I can then combine with stone or iron or something to make better cloth gear. Interesting. Yeah. Definitely need inventory expansion op. What the heck? I've never seen... Hello. That looked dangerous. Yep, that would have been about as expected. Okay, thanks for the morning warm-up. I feel like I'm ready. Ooh, I can open any of them. You! I got Orclops! Awesome. And 50 points, 50 points, 200 points, and 500 points. Awesome. So, my new options. The Orclops. Um, I will guaranteed start with some bo a bone pickaxe at a bone store. 20% chance to unlock after mining 20 ores. Um, and I get plus two attack, minus one HP. That's actually kind of a cool race. No variant yet. And the hat, I know I unlocked a hat, yes. Um, 33% chance on level up to gain an additional attack stat. That's pretty fantastic, actually. I don't know why I'm wearing it down there, but, I mean, this is, oh, it's a scarf. I thought it was a bandana or, like, a headband or something. Anyway. That's Magicite. I'll be playing more of this as part of my morning warm-up. I really actually kind of like this to just talk a bunch, drink some tea and coffee, do a little bit of a roguelike run-through. Probably going to do this every morning. I'm enjoying it. See you next time. And later today, I should be putting out an Agrarian Skies or a Blood and Bones, or maybe both. We'll see. Catch you later, folks.